จะไม่เข้าเถอะสู้ชาวบ้านฮายแมนไม่น่าจะซื้อแกนเทลมิโปเอ่อ I don't need that เทลมิ how about your last week oh terrible how so I'll tell you from I have the worst week first he wouldn't leave me alone everywhere I go he's following me by the way the husband suffering from Alzheimer's disease is very what do they call acute and progress very quickly and deteriorating very very quickly well one of the incidents I went you know is that He's using T-shirt paper, anything she he could find in the room, and pluck up all the sinks, toilets, and flushed it down. And uh, the washroom was all flooded. The kitchen's flooded all day. I've been cleaning up, and I've been trying to kind of child-proof my house, and I'm exhausted. Child-proof your house. Look, what do you do? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I was so exhausted. I think of anything. I wish they still had those gates, you know, they could prevent him. But he's a big person. Oh, uh, I tried to shut off the uh, the water, and I tried to um, you know lock the door. But then he needs to go to the washroom. I tried everything. I'm exhausted. So you're angry. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm, I'm frustrated for sure. Uh, I am uh, exhausted. I'm angry. And I, I think in a way, yes, I am angry. I am angry. I'm angry with him, and I am angry at myself because I just feel that I can't do anything. Now, if if you listen to your heart, listen to your soul. What might be some of the reasons that you are so angry? Oh. Do not have the right to be angry. Every right to be angry. Oh, I guess I was angry because you know, why is he doing that? Number one, and why am I doing this? And why is life like this? I don't know. I am angry, and I don't know what I, who I'm angry at or with. Yes, I am angry. Very angry. Now, uh, now, what is your assessment of your life as a whole at this moment? You know, on a scale of one to ten, is it very bad, or, or is you know, in, in terms of your social life, your personal life? Uh, on a scale of one to ten, you know, how will you reach your present situation? One is very bad, ten is very Four, good. Okay. Yeah. I think it's one <laughs> at this moment. I don't have much of a life. I don't have any friends. I can't go outside. I can't. I really can't do anything, and I have to watch him all the time. And he had to follow me everywhere, and um, you know, it is very, very hard. Well, thank you for helping me getting the home care. I do have half, two half days, <coughs> so the late, the woman will come in and kind of give me a little bit of relief. But you know, even I try to get away. From the house, and he will phone me. He will phone my cell phone. I mean, what kind of break would that be? You know, it is my life is just oh, in shambles, and and I, I can't do the things that I normally can do. And you know, the worst part is, um, I feel guilty, 
and he he saw me and he he felt guilty i think he's so sad when he saw me sad and he's sad so i just that's my life that's your life so you are, are you accepting it or oh. what can you do uh, other than uh, i mean what can you do about your current situation other than accepting it well, I've been trying to do that, and you've been telling me, you know, it's just hard to change. Um, well, yeah, because a doctor told me that he's not getting any better. So I think, you know, like, um, I can't expect miracles that he's going to be healed, and he's no longer the same person that I am. I, I do. Um, so, so you're, you're, you're accepting the fact that things might even get worse. So you say one, maybe minus one, minus two, it could, could even get worse. At times, yes, I felt relaxed, really, you know, what's the point? But then I love him. I love him so much, and I want to serve him, and I want to take care of him. I, I really, really, really want to take care of him. Uh, but often you are angry with him and mad with him. Well, but he can't help it. Yes, yes, I am mad at him, but... So when you're mad, you will not be good company, right? I mean, when, oh, you're, I when you're mad, when you're mad, does he, can he sense it? Yes, when I am mad and, he, and he's so sad, and I, you know, and then I can't be happy, so I go to the kitchen and I cried and I cried. And then I have to, you know, come out and pretend that I'm okay. In other words, if you are in a better frame of mind, uh, if yourself in a better condition, and when you're happy, when he can also sense it, right? Yes. Yes, when, you know, kind of, the only time that I see a glimpse of, you know, happiness and a little smile on his face, well, sometimes he, he couldn't even recognize me. But, you know, when he did, he was just kind of sweet. But that's only when I can smile. When I can, you know, when I'm kind of, you know, happy, then I think he, he felt he was happy. So, so remember, we talk about, about the importance of a sense of self, a sense of inner self. So, if we continue this line of thoughts, in order for you to really provide love and care for him, you have to what? You have to do something about yourself, right? Right, right. I have to take care of myself. So, uh, for example, now, let, let's let's end up with this point. Every time, I mean, you look forward to come to see me every week. So what did, yes. you, uh, what, what did you get? What did you get out of the session? Oh, well, I mean, you taught me a lot of things. I just love to come here because for the first time, somebody listened to me. But then I asked what is most helpful to you? Um, it's how, how I can make something out of myself. And respect myself, and um, you forgot to mention for the past energy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what she said. Yeah, because that's the only place that I find that I could be energized. Because you two are so energetic, and I really feel relieved from my, you know, uh, situation. Yes. So, so it's not just. The conversation, but you can sense a, some positive energy that that flow from me to you, right? Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, now, it, is it if if I were in a bad situation and I I do not take care of myself, I only generate negative energy or no energy. Then, I would be less helpful to you. Would that be true? Mm -hmm. Now, so so when when I positive energy, I am a more effective healer. Right, because just talk to me, you feel better. So now imagine yourself be me and, and, and next to you. So if you are able to generate positive energy, there's something positive overflow from your own life. 
then that will benefit me, right? I guess so. Okay, now, what can you do to, to, to discover or create something meaningful in your life? What can you do to, to, nurture, to nurture your inner self? Because you always say, oh, you're nothing. But you're somebody. You're, you're, you're not nothing. Uh, you're somebody, okay? What can you do to nurture yourself so that you have something to give, right? If you cannot care for yourself, you, you cannot really care for him. So let, this is a big topic I know that we, we can start exploring that in your situation, with all the constraints, with all the limitations, with all your worries, how can you discover and create something meaningful that can nurture yourself and in return care for him? Yeah, I remember last time you talked about thinking about positive thoughts. And I've been thinking about that. You want me to tell you some of the positive thoughts? <laughs> I'm more interested in positive actions. Oh, okay. What, what, what have you done about your life? What have you done each day so that you can feel better about yourself? Feel better about life. Not just positive thoughts. The thoughts, thoughts are less important than action. Remember, I said action is the, is the main thing. Well, um, I'm not a nobody. Um, I have been reading when I have some moments that I can be by myself. And I would go and read. But sometimes it doesn't sink in. And I like to draw. I started to draw. Actually, I did go to. Um, uh, to a group and um, people just draw pictures and I started to draw and you know what you also suggested I should be writing something and I've been doing some journaling um, yeah I, it does help let's let's uh, let's stop for a while I think about you as a painter as an artist let's think about the metaphor as an artist okay so if you're a painter, then you create paintings, right? You create paintings. Now imagine the painting you create is your life, OK? So when you draw, or when you write a story, or when you compose music, whatever you create is your life. So what kind of picture will you create that will represent you. It, you know, is it all dark, or is it, uh, is it you know, there's some bright, uh, what, kind of what kind of painting will you create that will represent life as you see it? I sometimes I think it would be a very dark, and then I thought about, you know, what we had before, and it's very uh, chaotic. Uh, I wouldn't know what she says because I wasn't there. <laughs> make, make up a story. I mean, you, you imagine her, her, her life situation. Uh, you know, what, what kind of life? Is, 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 is there will be a dark and bleak picture? Or is a picture that's, there's some hope, some light? What kind of picture would like, we like to create? I would like to create a picture. I'm just trying to think of Mary's uh, framework uh, that I can be helpful. I like to help people, so I can be, uh, I hope I could still have Nate and to support me, but I'm now thinking that I, I have to think of something that, you know, because his condition is so deteriorating so fast, I have to think for myself that I have to live without him. I've been thinking of how to live without So I guess my picture would be somebody independent, uh, would, would be able to give a, give a hand. Oh, maybe I could be one person there that extending hands to other people who are going through what I'm going okay, through. That's good. Okay, that's sweet. Okay. So, so it's, it's possible for you to, to create a, a picture that, that will portray you as a positive person, as a healer, as a helper, reaching hands, reaching out to help other people who are suffering. Do you realize that you're already helping me? You're, you, by your example, you're already helping me. Uh, you know, I can't even imagine to be in your situation. So, so I learned a lot from you about how to really unconditionally 
care for some, someone without getting anything in return. So you demonstrate your, your, your servant spirit. So that is very helpful to me. I want you to know that, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, now let's, let's carry the metaphor a little bit further. Go back to your situation now. You know, and, and uh, you know, you described to me that, that uh, scale of one to 10, that pretty bad is one, okay? And uh, most of the things are beyond your control. There isn't much you can do about it, you know, um, other than try to baby proof your kitchen or baby proof your, your washroom. So that the very little you can do about its condition, about your life situation. Uh, now, is there anything positive? Can you discover any, any positive meaning out of a pretty terrible situation? Um, positive about the situation. Well, still think for a while, just think for a while, okay? Maybe not easy, but if you, you know, just look at, detect yourself and look at the situation and see if there's anything positive, your current situation. Well, at least I have him all to myself. <laughs> 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 at least I have his heart, but it's not like this. <laughs> um, you know, he used to, to order me around, and he used to tell me what to do, and now I can tell him what to do. Um, yeah, that's something. <laughs> That's different, I could think of. So the table had turned, right? So you're the boss now. Yes. So how, how, how does that make you feel? I'm feeling powerful. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough from uh, nothing to being powerful. That's quite a transformation, right? Yeah? And uh, so, so now you're, you're being powerful for what? So you, 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 you now you have plenty of time to think about your future and uh, what you really want in life. Are you still a, a young woman by today's standard, right? 50, in the middle way, <laughs> you still have a long way to go. And uh, so you, you can see yourself a powerful person rather than nobody, then you have to use the power to achieve some good, right? Uh, so have you thought about you know, what, what you want to do with your life when you grow up? You know, Paul, I never wanted to think about putting him in a home, in an institute. I didn't even want to think about it when the doctors mentioned it to me. But I think I'm gradually thinking of preparing myself and say, okay, I'm going to prepare my life without him. And I even dare to think about, you know, put him in an institute. But I won't do that until it's absolutely necessary. I love my husband. I mean, my whole life, I, you know, I attach to him. Um, I, I still, you know, it's still very, very new that if I'm going to be um, living a life by myself. Yeah, but, but have you thought about what to do with your life, with the future? So that, I mean, do you have any dreams when you're young? I mean, do you have any aspiration at all? Uh, even now, when you're sitting in your house, uh, thinking about the future, the, what do you want to make the most of your life? Yeah, I, I'm sure when I was young I had some dreams, but it had been so squashed and I, I, I really don't know. Well, I have a nice daughter, you know, and we can talk. And I think, you know, all my life I want to help people. Help people like me who, who would always feel so helpless and nothing. So you want to get into some kind of uh, helping profession or uh, yeah. volunteer service? Yeah, I actually I have. I have um, talked to people and I have actually uh, made some friends. But I mean, I really don't have anything concrete. But I'll learn, I'll grow. Okay, so whatever you plan, remember another principle we, we talked earlier, is that your present prepare you for the future. So whatever Whatever you plan to do with your life in the future, you'll start now. You'll start now, remember? Right? You'll start now. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though it's difficult, but you still you have two, two half days, you can be away from your home. 
So can you do something now that actually prepare you for a better future? Do you know what, Paul? Last week, Lillian told me to write a story of my life uh, about the worst situation and the incident that I had um, at school. Uh, a teacher treated me so badly, and that's why I quit school and ran away. And I finally be able to write it out. And I wrote pages and pages and pages. And, and you know what? After I wrote that, I, my heart felt really, really bad. So what I did was, I read it over, and I ripped the whole thing over. I just didn't want that. And then I rewrote it, and here it is. And I want you to read it. And that's one thing I have done. OK, now along the line of, uh, along the line of uh, helping people and, and to explore opportunities for, for surf, surfing others, for volunteer work, so have you checked into uh, any opportunities of uh, helping others? I have, I have, but I, right now I can't get out and I can't do anything. I don't want to risk anything. I just rushed him to emergency rooms on Sunday and that's, that's why this, you know, I stayed with him all this time. And then he's going <coughs> back home and then I have my hands full. Oh, you okay, but, but you still think about that? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, So I know that uh, it's, a, it's a tough situation, that you know that your husband is not getting any better, uh, that you only have a limited time with him, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so you want to make the most of whatever time is left between, you know, for you and for him. Uh, so we'll recover that in order to provide uh, the best care for him, you have to care for yourself. We will recover that. Uh, anything else to help you cover? Well, actually, Paul, I have booked a plane ticket, and we're going to go down to San Francisco and to meet with our daughter, because he wanted to meet with her. And I know it's going to be a hassle. I know it's going to be hard to travel with him, um, but, but he wanted that, and so I wanted that, so we will do something meaningful before he goes. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's going to be tough. It might be her last trip. Yeah. It might be, yeah. And that's something we need. Uh -huh. And now we'll, we'll take it from there. Yeah. So you need all the strength you can get, you know, to, to be able to make this trip. So do, do, you, do you draw strength from prayer? Oh, I pray. No, I, I don't know. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Buddha. <laughs> I pray. <laughs> so, uh, you know, people talk about religion, faith, you know, always talk about doc doctrines, but have you experienced God? That's the key, is the key. Have you experienced God's power in your life? And have you experienced God's presence in your life? Uh, so that, that is another way that you can that you can really enrich your present, right? If you're present, if you're, you're cooped up in the house, you, you don't see friends, but at least it opens up, you know, open up the spiritual world, right? So do you experience God? I feel calmer. I feel calmer when I pray, but I... So, so that, 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 that... There must be somebody looking after me. <laughs> so so, so your, your prayer, your faith, is not only a source of comfort, but also a source of strength. Mm. Would that be correct? Mm. It, it mm. gives you strength to go on. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that, that that's what it is. Too. And that, that, that doesn't cost you any money, right? Mm. Because you can do it, you can do it anytime, anywhere. You don't need to go out. There's something you can cultivate. Yeah, yeah. Cultivate your, 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 your faith, cultivate your, your relationship with God. So you can constantly draw from Him to, to make your life richer. So that this is one area. And, uh, shall we? Shall we? Minutes, shall we close, close now? Now, but in, in closing, so what will be the take home message you have got from this, this session? What, remember, we say every week you have, you have one take home message and then you practice it next week and tell me you know, how does it work for you. So, so what will be the 
main thing, the, the, the one, one message that was helpful to you? It's like, I've got to take care of myself. And if I don't take care of myself, I cannot take care of my husband. And I've got to think about uh, my future, and I'm going to do something, uh, you know, continue with my plans. And uh, now I'm just thinking about the trip, so okay. I have to work on the trip. Okay. Well, we'll see you after. We'll wish you a good trip. We'll, uh, we'll see you after you come back. Two weeks. Two weeks, okay. Thank you.